Students today are used to high impact technology communications experiences. A whiteboard, a chalkboard, they don't cut it anymore. Students find these kinds of presentations boring. 3M has just came out with a new projector, which is the SCP-716, which is a super close projector built into a projection system. With it, at a distance of only 31 inches from your whiteboard, you can get a 64-inch diagonal picture up on your screen. You can move the projector a little further away and you can get something as large as 91 inches diagonal, something big enough to show in a very large auditorium. The most important parts of the system are the projector, the annotation sensor, and let's face it, the most important part of any teaching situation is the student. And this system can help you reach those students by presenting the kind of presentation that they really like. The pen that I'm holding, the 3M pen, when you touch it to the surface, it will do things depending on what you've picked from the wheel. And you can see when the student was using it, the wheel is over here. It puts out an infrared and ultrasonic signal at the same time. The two signals travel at different speeds. When they reach the sensor module, it plots the location of the pen on the screen by the time it takes these signals to arrive. Now, when you give a presentation, uh, you'll notice that there is a shadow, but the shadow is pretty much blocked. And that's because the projector is mounted above me, aiming down, so that I'm not standing in front, I am not creating a shadow, a huge shadow across what students can see, and most important, I don't have the light in my eyes. Now the projector is putting out up to 2400 lumens, so this is a projector that certainly can be used in daylight. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is to turn around and let the sensor module know exactly where the pen is on your smart board. And by clicking on these register marks, you are sending that particular information. Remember, you really want to get down to it, the heart of this system is still your computer. You have just created a super large computer screen that can function and perform the same things that you would be able to do on your computer, in a sense, as if it was a tablet computer. To see this now in operation, let's do something kind of simple. Simple program. And you start it. Remember, you can be teaching a lesson showing a particular program, uh, showing a slide, having students come up, having students give an oral and video presentation of their own work, etc. Anything that you want to do. Open. And you want to paint lines, black. Shapes. So you can see that it's very easy to perform many different tasks with the system. Now the annotation module has this wheel over here which gives you the possibility of doing a number of, other, uh, a number of functions that you would normally do on your computer. One thing we can do is we can capture the screen. 
And by doing that, we can save what a student has actually created at the screen. Okay? Uh, we could also magnify what we have. And we can create a keyboard so we can actually enter information uh, into websites. Let's close these down. And let's go on the web. a visual presentation that is actually a part of my August 2009 Technology Today column in Tech Directions magazine. You can read the entire column at my website, technologytoday.us, or at the magazine's website, techdirections.com. One of the things I want to point out, very often in this video I'm going to appear dark. That is because the amount of light that is being put out with, by the projector is actually creating havoc in the video camera as far as the camera readjusting constantly to the changes in the lighting. Background very, very lit. Person in forward, a forward of that light becomes somewhat silhouetted. Just to realize that. I want to thank you for your kind attention to watching this video. I hope you do read this column and past columns. I'm sure you're going to find some very useful information. Thank you.